Over the past few weeks, the news of the fight between Jake Paul and Tommy Fury has stirred up a lot of opinions. Everyone seems to have something to say about the fight and who would come out victorious. But after several unsuccessful attempts at getting these two men to face off in the ring, we can't help but wonder if we will finally get to see what we've all been waiting for. The fight against Jake Paul and Tommy Fury was initially scheduled for December 19th, 2021. However, due to some complications on Fury's end as he nursed a bacterial chest infection and a broken rib, the match was canceled. By the next year in 2022, the men were once again scheduled for a match on August 6th, but again, the match had to be canceled. This time, it was due to the fact that Fury's travel visa to the US was canceled. However, it has been confirmed that we should expect to see some action come February 26th, 2023. And so while we look forward to that date, it is only natural that we analyze what could be the outcome of this battle. So if you would like to find out our verdict on the duel between these two professional fighters, then be sure to stick around till the end. Let's take this into the ring, shall we? Before we put them up against each other, let's take a closer look at the lives of these fighters. First up is none other but the problem child himself, Jake Paul. The American social media personality and professional boxer was born on the 17th of January, 1997 in Cleveland, Ohio. Jake Paul, however, grew up in Westlake, Ohio with his parents, Pamela Ann Stepnick and Gregory Allen Paul and his brother, Logan Paul. After gaining an insane level of fame on Vine in 2013, Paul launched his YouTube channel the very next year. This would later lead to an acting career on the Disney Channel's Bizarre Vark series, where he played the role of Dirk Mann. 2017 was the year Paul found his way into the music industry and released his very first single, It's Every Day, Bro. And ever since, Paul has continued to release several singles. By the fall of 2018, Paul hit another milestone in his life as he began his amateur boxing career, where he fought against Deji Olatunji, KSI's younger brother. The fifth round of the exciting match was brought to an end as Paul delivered a technical knockout, defeating Olatunji. However, in 2019, Paul let go of his amateur title and started off his professional career. His debut match was against fellow YouTuber NS and Gib, popularly called Gib, and won by technical knockout. Throughout his career, Paul has fought against former UFC fighter Ben Askren and professional basketballer Nate Robinson. He also fought against the UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley twice, and finally against the mixed martial artist and boxer Anderson Silva. In all of these six fights, Paul has recorded a total of six wins, with four of those by knockout. Tommy Fury. All right, time to meet the British professional boxer and reality TV personality, Tommy TNT Fury. Fury was born on the 7th of May, 1999, in Manchester, England, to John and Chantel Fury. Tommy grew up alongside his older half-brother, Tyson Fury, who today is a heavyweight world champion. Fury didn't have quite a lengthy amateur career, as by 2018, he had already made his debut in his professional career as a boxer. His very first match was against Javinus Andrejas, which he won with a four-round points decision. His second match was indeed a memorable one, where he recorded a stoppage in his professional career. Fury served a knockout in just the first round of his fight against Callum Ide. Other opponents the British fighter has gone up against include Jordan Grant, Daniel Bochanski, Preshla Bienda, Scott Williams, Gennadij Krajewski, and Anthony Taylor. In all of these eight fights, Tommy Fury recorded a total of eight wins, four of which were won by knockout and four by decision. 
By the year 2021, Fury made his United States debut on the undercard of Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. His debut match was against Anthony Taylor, and at the end of the match, he was made the winner by unanimous decision. After this match, what was to come next was his scheduled fight against Jake Paul. But of course, that never happened. And the same was the case in 2022. While both fighters remain undefeated, their fight scheduled for February 26 will change that for one of them. But who is it going to be? Who is going to be walking away with the tainted record? Well, now that we've met both fighters, let's see if we can determine the answer to that question. As usual, we'll be making this decision based on the categories of fighting pedigree, physique, skill, and improvisation. For each of these, we'll be awarding 10 points, and as usual, the fighter with the highest number of points wins. Fighting Pedigree With about five years in their career, it's safe to say that both fighters are quite new to the fighting environment. Neither boxer has exactly been able to get into that many fights. However, in the few matches that they have been engaged, the fighters have kept an undefeated record. We have to admit that Fury has an upper hand though, seeing that he has engaged in more fights and hence has a fuller record compared to Paul. Therefore, in this round, Fury gets nine points while Paul gets eight points. Physique. As both Fury and Paul happen to still be in their prime, the best way to judge their physique would be based on their present height and weight. Currently, Tommy Fury stands at exactly six feet and weighs about 231 pounds. While on the other hand, Jake Paul stands at about six foot one inch while weighing about 190 to 200 pounds. Although we can say both fighters are about the same height, Fury does weigh heavier, which could be very useful in landing another stoppage. And so Fury is awarded nine points while Paul comes in close with 8.5 points. Skills. When we talk about skills, it is pretty obvious that both Fury and Paul are well-trained in boxing. As Paul himself said in a press conference, he has the boxing IQ. The point is that both men can stand their ground against each other. However, given that Fury has more fighting pedigree, he sure has an advantage in terms of experience. Plus, Coming from a family of fighters is another added advantage. But then we all know that Paul has some of the best trainers in the business and boasts about that every chance he gets. Nonetheless, considering the fact that both fighters were well versatile in the art of boxing, we can say that both fighters have a tie with eight points each. Improvisation. Finally, looking at improvisation, it is clear that both fighters are currently only boxers and aren't versatile in any other kind of martial art. This means both fighters are unlikely to pull off any surprises in the ring. However, with a record like Fury's, who's had the opportunity to face off with more opponents and beat them all, it's more likely that the younger fighter could have a couple tricks up his sleeves. And so once again, Fury wins this round with eight points, while Paul gets seven points. The verdict? Before we get down to the winner of the prediction, it's safe to say that based on the different opinions on the internet, both have a clear shot at coming out on top. However, considering all of the pressure on Fury from his family, it just may be a tough bout. Paul, on the other hand, isn't about to make things any easier for his opponent if his rants on social media are anything to go by. Fury's absence at the press conference made things even worse as Paul took the liberty to get even more vocal. At this point, Fury has the choice to either let Paul get into his head or use Paul's rants as fuel to win the match. That said, if we'll be judging based on our four categories, the winner of this match, come February 26, is none other than Tommy TNT Fury with 34 points, while Jake Paul comes in close with 31.5 points.
This, however, is just our verdict based on our calculations. The actual match might be a shocker to us all. So what do you think? Do you agree with this verdict? Or do you believe that the problem child will come out as the winner against Tommy Fury? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and would love more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification so you are the first to know when we drop a new video. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.